I'm getting a slight frost on the uh, on the evaporator coil, so I know the compressor is pushing, and it's a little bit of refrigerant in it, uh, but the frost is right there at the top. Uh, but I'm running a negative, so that's more than likely gonna be some a blockage someplace. Uh, I'm gonna add a little refrigerant in it and see if I can get it up. Uh, get the get the see if I can get the pressures up. If the pressure goes up a little bit, I probably just have a leak. Um, but if it stays in the negative, even though I add a little refrigerant in it, I know I got a uh, I got a restriction. Let get a little refrigerant out of here. Uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I got the refrigerant put in, uh, tapped in. I'm just gonna add a little refrigerant in the line. You see it go up. I'm gonna see if the pressure goes up if I stay in the vacuum. Add a little bit in. And what that should do, if I'm low on refrigerant, it should start the pressure goes up. But you see how it's still going back into that vacuum? That let me know that I have a block and refrigerant can't move through. So now I need to decide where to find out where the block is. Is it either in the condenser, Yorta loop, or if it's in the evaporator core. All right, so uh, I'm gonna now recover the refrigerant and then I'll uh, come back and I'm gonna blow nitrogen through it and I'll, be, I'll show you how I actually find out where it's blocked. All right, so what we're doing here now, uh, I got the nitrogen tank hooked up and you see right here i got a filter dryer here i didn't open this in so i'm gonna let nitrogen come in it's gonna go up through the yoda loop and it'll come back through the condenser right here and that right there let me know that uh if i got blockage in the in the yoda in the uh in the, uh in the actual high side so all right go ahead and Open up yours and I'll turn the gauge down. Oh. And so I feel it there. I got air coming out right here. That let me know that the yoda loop and the condenser coil is good. So there's no block there. I'm gonna turn it off. What we done here. I actually added a, a, a process stem onto the capillary uh, tube and I got nitrogen now blowing through and you can see like it's like water coming out of this it's like water coming out the tube and we're seeing water coming out the inside so what happened I got a leak in the actual uh, evaporator and that evaporator that compressor it's been sucking water through that evaporator and moisture and got that evaporator filled up with water. That's why it was in a vacuum. What we're going to do, we're going to replace the evaporator hole and put a new compressor in here and we should be good. But yeah, you see the, you see the water dripping out of there? Yeah, it's been sucking, sucking through. All right, so there you go. So that's how I know I got, it's actually oil too. There's oil in there too. So that's how I know I got bad, uh, a bad uh, evaporator.